have this tendency to try to manufacture a story. But in fact, the stories are being told all around you. In our case, at Spotify, it's being told through something that sounds a little boring, data. We're able to look at every individual's listening habits and patterns. So we know the kind of playlist they're listening to, but we know are they inside their house or are they out? What time of day it is? What is their activity? Are they walking? Are they running? Are they in a car? And so we can tell what they're asking the music to do. The data provides the signal and the insight. It's up to the storyteller to provide the narrative and the judgment. So this is the combination of art and science. Generally, people apply music to feel more. If you're sad, you want to feel more sad. When you're happy, you want to feel more happy. Other times, what we can see is that music is to cover and distract you from your reality. We started to see an increase in the number of playlists that were being created uh, by people who were planning to move. We started to look at some third-party data that showed that after each presidential debate, the number of queries for moving to Canada went through the roof. So people were experiencing something together and their response was, I gotta get out of here, I'm moving to Canada. So we took the two and we put them together and we simply told the stories of people who were putting together moving to Canada playlists and there were common songs on each one of them. And it's the detail, the nuance and the weirdness that creates an interesting story. Discover Weekly is a personalized playlist that is delivered to 100 million and more people every Monday. So the playlist, if it's 35 long, if 20 of them resonate, then your overwhelming feeling is I've explored and I've participated and I've liked so much. If we were to deliver 35 perfect hits it actually wouldn't feel as interesting. People want to be involved in their own discovery. So with data, how well can we actually get to know somebody? Maybe even better than they know themselves. Most people believe that they are highly unique, that their actions, their feelings, their musical tastes are one of a kind. The truth is, when you start getting to scale, like the 100 million music fans that are on Spotify, we see very common, very repeatable patterns. But that's not a bad thing, because you can tell an individual's story, and suddenly it will connect with 20 million other people. The output of that is, they get me better than anybody else. We actually express ourselves far more through the nonverbals than the verbal. The technology will actually filter through that and provide a much more emotional resonance that will create honesty and a level of empathy that we haven't seen before.